Torah Garden, speaking the absolute truth. Torah Nation. Shalom, 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 Yasharal and Yahuda. Grafted in Gentiles into the body of Hamashiach. Hasn't Yahuwah? <laughs> Listen to none other than Maaki Hezekiah. Song is entitled Have It He. Yahuwah continue to anoint this ark to bring the revelation by the Ruach of Yahuwah. Listen, hasn't Yahuwah? Hasn't Yahuwah done it? Hallelujah. Abba Yahuwah in the name of Yahushua Mashiach, I give you praise. I give you praise for your word from the prophet, the joy that I get when I listen to his word. Abba Yahuwah, his music. Abba Yahuwah, I pray right now in the name of Yahushua Mashiach that you will deliver unto him a supernatural blessing of increase that you would supernaturally take down every obstacle and barrier right now in the name of Yahushua Hamashiach that has set itself up against him, that it's holding him and trying to keep him held down and held back. Abba Yahuwah in the name of Yahushua Hamashiach, I take authority over Ruachs that have been set up against him, lying deceptive cheating wicked ruachs in the name of Yahushua Mashiach I bind you I stand in agreement with this ark I declare that no weapon turns against him prospers turns against him his wife his family prospers Abba Yahuwah deliver this man grant him the desires of his heart bring it to pass supernaturally in the name of Yahushua Hamashiach he knows you have I know you have in the name of Yahushua Hamashiach, you said, Whosoever so said unto this mountain, be thou removed, and be thou cast into the sea, and shall not doubt in his heart, but believe those things which he say shall come to pass, he shall have what he say. Hasatan, I command you to take your hands off of him, his family. Take your hands off of that which Yahuwah is bringing forth. Take your hands off his finances, Yahuwah will bring increase. In the name of Yahushua Hamashiach, Abba Yahuwah, do it in the name of Yahushua Hamashiach. Abba Yahuwah, do it in the name of Yahushua Hamashiach. Abba Yahuwah, do it in the name of Yahushua Hamashiach. Abba, I thank you right now. I pray that you would take the reins of my lips and the reins of my tongue and reign. Abba, I pray that by me you would bring a word, a Torah, a Basora, a truth. A word that would not cause anyone to stumble, anyone to be turned out of the way, anyone to come up lame. A sure word, a sure word of prophecy, a sure word. Abba Yahuwah, a Torah, a Basora spoken, uttered, that causes things to happen in the arrest, shakes the foundation of things in the arrest, shakes, shakes the foundations of the hearts of men, establishing the Torah in their hearts. Abba Yahuwah, shake the Shamaim in the name of Yahushua by your word. Abba, I pray right now in the name of Yahushua Hamashiach, and I exercise my authority. I take authority over every evil ruach, every ruach of distraction, every ruach that's familiar, every ruach that's unclean and unholy, I bind you. I take authority over you in the name of Yahushua Hamashiach. I can boldly declare that no weapon turned against those of you who have chosen shall prosper. You cannot lord over them. I bind you. I command you to cease in your maneuvers and activities. I command you to loose your rulers, people. Witchcraft, loose your rulers, people. Adultery, perversion, loose the people of Yahuwah. Loose those of you who have chosen to bring into this witness. Loose them now and set them free. Abba Yahuwah, in the name of Yahushua Mashiach, I, I'm, I'm just doing what your word says. I'm just doing what Yahushua said. Abba Yahuwah, I'm declaring your Torah. I'm doing it as Yahushua did it. In the name of Yahushua Mashiach, and I pray that every word goes forth 
would go in power and might. You said it wouldn't return to you a void, but it would accomplish everything that is sent forth to do. Abba, you have done it all. You have. You've delivered your people. You have. Abba, you've sent them awakening. And you brought them that hey, you have chosen into the quickening. You've done your word. The woman has given birth and is giving birth to those that you have chosen. Hey, the woman is giving birth to those that you have chosen who have come by way of water and the Ruach HaKodesh, those that you have born again, those that you have sprinkled clean water on, those that you have put a new heart in, those that you have given a new Ruach and those that you have given your Ruach. Abba Yahuwah, in the name of you, Shemashiach, you've done it. And I give you praise. Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight. Yahuwah, my strength and my redeemer. Hallelujah. Man of Yah, woman of Yah. You know, I, 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 I truly, I truly love this Aki Hezekiah, right? I've seen him one occasion, right? And I didn't go up and introduce myself, you know, because, you know, if we, if, if we happen to cross paths, and that's a beautiful thing, <laughs> but this Aki is so sincere. His music is so on point. Right? And I understand that there is different callings in ministry. I understand that everybody's message is not the same. Right, but this prophetic Ruako message that this Aki delivers is beautiful. Right, another one that I wanna, I wanna, I wanna, I wanna speak on is Eshan Burgundy. Right, Eshan Burgundy, man, that brother has transitioned. You know, just like just like Hezekiah, they transitioned from a point in which they first started into where they are now. Right. Right. And you know what? Lyrically anointed. Right? Now listen, I just happen to love that genre of music. Right? You know, I love a rap style kind of music. But I also love an R and B style kind of music. You know, I mean my my IKEA, I hope. <laughs> I, I do. All right. I love his music, right? But the idea is for me is that I, 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 I tend to have ear to prophetic words and music, right? Another one, right? The Rock Eye Bar. These men dedicated to Yahuwah in the craft and the prophetic word, understanding the role of the Ruach HaKodesh in the life of those that have been born again. I pray for this Aki, Hezekiah, because I believe that he, he's, he's, he's in the process of making moves. I don't know why. I, don't, I just know what the Most High has given me. And my prayer is that everything that he needs to make the moves that he needs to make would come to pass in this Ruako witness, this, this agreeing in the Ruach, knowing that if one puts a thousand to flight, two will put 10,000 to flight. If any of you agree as touching anything you ask of Abba, in the name of Yahushua Hamashiach, it'll be granted. So I, I'm believing that financial miracles are being loose for this brother. Supernatural opportunities, right, 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 that will cause him to make a transition. I don't know why I'm going this way, <laughs> but this is your Ruach. I'm believing Yahuwah. I'm standing in agreement, right? That Yahuwah will do what he needs to do in the midst of this Aki and his wife, his family. 
that the desires of his heart would be granted. I'm believing that. Listen, man of y'all, woman of y'all, booted and suited. You must be booted and suited. Now, 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 this this particular message is not going to be long, right? This particular word, I don't know how long it's going to be, but this word, right? It's time to be booted and suited. We understood when our 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 NCICs or our, our non-commissioned officers or those that were in leadership over us, um, charged over our companies, whatever, when they told us to get ready, get booted and suited, we understood that we were getting ready to go and be deployed, or we were going to do um, something, right? But the objective is, is to make sure that you're squared away. Make sure you have everything that is necessary for this deployment, right? Make sure you got everything that's necessary. Make sure you got all your primary gear, your secondary gear, your, make sure you have everything that you need in order to accomplish, to go forward in this mission. Now, Yahuwah has provided us who have been born again, who have received the witness of Yahushua Mashiach, everything we need to deploy. Yahushua told the disciples, right? Before you deploy, you got to wait and get booted and suited. You have to understand that in order to be effective in the kingdom, you have to come by way of water, blood, and you must receive the Ruach HaKodesh. That, that completely qualifies you, right, to be of use in the service of you you must be booted and suited the disciples had to be prepared they had to understand the need of the preparation they had to understand that there were some things that had to occur right specifically right right specifically Specifically, what is recorded in Acts, right? Acts, the first chapter says, The former treaties I have made, O Theophilus, of all that Yahushua began both to do and to teach, right? Until the day that he was taken up after that through the Ruach HaKodesh. Because after you, she was taken up. In order for the 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 Talmud, Tal, Talmud, the disciples, to proceed forward, to be equipped fully, to be able to establish whose kingdom in the earth, they had to receive this 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 ruach hakodesh. He says, "Listen, until the day which he was taken up, after that." After that, through the Ruach HaKodesh, he had given commandments unto the apostle who he has chosen. There's a chosen from amongst the people, right? Right? There's a chosen that functions in office among the people, right? But the people still must be chosen, right? He says here, 
and had given commandments unto the apostles whom he had chosen. He gave them instructions, right? To whom also he showed himself alive after his passion by many infallible proofs. So he demonstrated providing great evidence, right? Infallible proof, right? Of his resurrected state, of his being alive. Right? Right? Having been seen of them 40 days. So for a period of 40 days, Yahuwah had manifested himself. He had been seen by the disciple, and he had been seen by some of the others. Right? Right? But for 40 days, speaking to them of things pertaining to the kingdom of Yahuwah. Speaking to them about what is required and what will need to be done and what will happen, right? As this kingdom in the Uretz begins to develop. This kingdom that is that is the kingdom of Yahuwah, the kingdom, right, that is to develop is made up of people that Yahuwah has chosen that must receive this witness. They must be allowed to be born again to hear the news, to understand the way, the truth, and the life to the kingdom. It has to happen. And they had to be prepared. Right, right, right. right. literally had three years of boot camp. Right. He had he had three years of boot camp combined with AIT. AIT was Army, um, it was training. So, Yahuwah, right, had brought them along, gave them power to show them what that looks like, authority to show them what that looks like while he was still there. The Ruach of Yahuwah right, caused them, the Ruach of Yahuwah that was in Yahushua, caused them at that time to be able to bring forth fruit, right, cast out devils, lead people to Yahushua, uh, 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 heal people. The demonstrations, the series of trainings and teachings, he gave them an experience so that they would have something to gauge on at the time when the manifestation of this power that was necessary would be delivered unto them. See, they had the, 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 they had the capacity in being booted and suited because they were under the dominion of Yahuwah, which gave them access through Yahushua Mashiach. They did not possess the Ruach HaKodesh because it had not yet been given. But what they had was an authority that was that was given all power, Yahushua Hamashiach, in the arrests. So as representatives of Yahushua Hamashiach, when Yahushua said go, and they went, they were under delegated authority. And demons and devils and everything else had to respond to their authority because of Yahushua Hamashiach. And there was a one time, when, you know, they said, well, you know, Yahushua, this you couldn't cast this devil out. And you said it was because of your unbelief. 
and then there's some kind of, this some of some of these come by fasting and praying. Hence the reason why you need to fast and pray because you don't know in this witness at what point in time you will be called on, booted and suited, prepared, called on to set a captive free. To lay hands on a sick person and have them recover. See, 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 you know, you know, you know. This is booted and suited. This is what Yahuwah gave Yahushua responsibility in bringing forth Yeshua to his people. And it is after Yahushua leaves this same authority is given by the Ruach HaKodesh to fulfill the purpose of Yahuwah's kingdom. They had to be prepared to go. You know, now you know, it's interesting because, you know, in basic training, when, you know, you're getting ready to go out on this 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 road march and then you have what are called a bivouac or or a time when you, you know, set up camp and you start doing all of this stuff, right? Well, you know, before all of that jumps off, you know, you, you get inspections, you know, you making sure you got everything that you're supposed to have, that you ain't left nothing behind, that you have everything you need before we head out, that you booted and suited, suited and booted, that you prepared. Prepared to bring forth this witness. To prepare to deliver a word. To prepare to have signs follow you. Booted and suited. Listen. He says, and being assembled together with them, he commanded them, he gave them command that they should not depart from Jerusalem, but wait. Don't go out. Everything I've told you is a prelude to you receiving that which is necessary that's going to, 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 to cause it all to be effective. It's going to give you what you need to get the job done. It's going to cause you to be booted and suited. And being assembled together with them, commanded them, saying that they should not depart from Jerusalem, but wait for the promise. promise of Abba which saith he ye have heard of me the promise we who have been born again of the water and the Ruach HaKodesh has received the seal of promise Ephesians 1 and 14, which Ephesians 1 and 13, in whom also ye trusted, after that ye heard the Torah of truth, the Basora of your Yeshua, in whom also, after he believed, ye were sealed with the Ruach HaKodesh of promise. You sealed. With the Ruach HaKodesh promise, right? He says here in Acts 1 and 5, for Yahukanan truly baptized with water, right? Now we're talking about being booted and suited. See, you, you, if you ain't in this witness, this don't apply to you. 
If you're in Torah only, this don't apply to you. Because you're in his. Even amongst Yaakov. Because, you know, Yaakov was chosen. His, the 12 tribes were chosen. But even our 12 tribes, there's only a selected few because they are those who come under the witness. They are those that believe in Yahushua's atonement. They are those who have been washed. They are those that Yahuwah sprinkled clean water on. They are those that Yahuwah has caused to be born again of the water in the Ruach HaKodesh. For you who can not truly baptize with water, but ye shall be baptized with the Ruach Kakodesh not many days hence. Right? See, you're going to be baptized with the Ruach Kakodesh not many days hence. Right? 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 He says here, and, and you, you who can on the first chapter. He says, and the next day, you can on the first chapter, 29 verse, and the next day you who can on see and you who should coming unto him, say, behold the lamb. Right? The lamb of Alua. The sacrificial lamb. Right? Behold the lamb of Yahuwah, which take away the sins. And those season see now Yahushua's blood takes away the sins of the world. Now listen. The blood is applied to those that Yahuwah has chosen to have sins taken away. <laughs> Everybody in the world ain't going to be saved. He's going to take the sins. He took the sins of my, he he's taking my sins away. Right? He chose me. I can see throughout my whole life how I was chosen. I can see out throughout my life how he had by his Ruach HaKodesh demonstrated his power. I understand now by the awakening who Yahuwah and Yahusha are. Right? I, I understand they're not the Lord and I understand they're not the earth pig. I have a knowledge of who we are and that for me is everything, right? But Yahuwah, Yahuwah's sent Yahusha to take away the sins of the world, which means that everybody has an opportunity to be born again, but just like bruise, they ain't gonna all come into the quickening. They're not going to all come into the quickening. They're not going to all understand or even receive this witness being born again of the water in the Ruach HaKodesh. They're not going to receive the witness of the water in the Eretz, the, 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 the blood in the Eretz, and the Ruach HaKodesh, the Torah, the Word in the Eretz. They're not going to receive it. But as many do. Yahushua has come. He is the Lamb. That takes away their sins. This is he of whom I came. Who, this is he of whom I said, after me cometh a man which is preferred before me, for he was before me. Right? Yusha. Yusha was the word made flesh, but he was before you. Who could I? I knew him not, but that he should be made manifest to Yasharal. Therefore am I come baptizing with water. I received a word of revelation concerning Yahushua Hamashiach. And that word of revelation was manifested to me. Right? I didn't know who he was. Right? But what I did understand that he would be manifested to Yisrael. The Yahudim. The tribes. The 12 tribes. He 
He says, listen, Yehuka and I bore records saying, I saw the Ruach HaKodesh descending upon him like a dove and it aboded with him. It took up residence on him. It did not depart from him. It remained, continued, and dwelled with him. Right? Right? I knew him not, Yehuchanan says, but that, but he that sent me, Yahuwah, right, to baptize with water, you must be born again of the water, Yahuwah must sprinkle clean water on you, the same said unto me, upon whom thou shalt see the Ruach HaKodesh descending and aboding, right, and remaining on him, the same shall baptize with the Ruach HaKodesh. Hence, the reason why in Acts, you, it is said here in Acts the fifth chapter, for you who cannot truly baptize with water, but you shall be baptized with the Ruach HaKodesh not many days hence. Because you have to have the Ruach HaKodesh to be booted and suited. You have to be His in order to qualify. You have to demonstrate having received the Ruach HaKodesh in power, right? That you are qualified, equipped, and well able to go into the battle. To participate in the fray. To stand having done all to stand. So that you can withstand, that you can you can win, succeed when it comes to Hasatan and his wiles. You have to be booted and suited. He says, for you who cannot truly baptize with water, but ye shall be baptized with the Ruach HaKodesh. Not many days from now. Hence. When they therefore will come together, they ask him, saying, I don't know, what thou this time restore the kingdom. Right? And Yahushua went out to explain, it's not him, it's not for them to know the time. He's, it's not them, for, it's not for them to know the time of the season, right? Right? He says, and he said unto them, it is not for you to know the time of the season, which Abba has put in his own power, or his own control, or his own dominion, or in his own power, right? He said, but listen. Excuse me. Excuse me. But listen. But you shall receive power. You shall be equipped. You shall be booted and suited. You shall have everything you need to fight this fight. That's why, you know, it, 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 staggers, it staggers my mind as to how there's so many people talking about being Hebrew and being being in, uh, uh, in Torah and understanding who they are. But no one has really discussed the need for being born again and having you who is Ruach HaKodesh in order to reach people. They're, 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 they're just basking in the call. They're doing laps in the call. But they're not bringing people into the chosen. They're not introducing people into the quickening. You know, again, you know, uh, I, 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 I believe in, in, in um, the research that these brothers have commenced you know i don't believe that they're all in one inclusive i think they all a little here a little there and together it makes for 
this clarity of understanding, right? But you can't talk to people about being awakened and not point them into the direction of the witness of Yahushua Hamashiach. You know, the actual, the fact is, is that if you E1B1A, you are Hebrew. You you, you are of the, the descendants of those that are in Torah. But being of the descendants don't make you a part of his kingdom. There is a disconnect. The disconnect is they, they, they bring forth this knowledge that doesn't point people to the witness of Yahushua Mashiach. It doesn't point people to the need of being born again of the water of the Ruach Hakodesh, right? Right? You know, again, you know, I, I, you know, I heard, I heard, um, I'm not going to say, I heard one of the instructors, one of the teachers, one of these say that, well, it doesn't matter to me, you know, if, if you, you know, you, 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 you know, believe in, in, uh, uh, Jesus or the Lord or or Yahushua, uh, I'm just here to show you who you are, you know, in essence, to deliver the information that you Hebrew. That's a disconnect. You totally disconnected from the purpose of you. The purpose is for you to understand that you are a people that are called by his name, right? If my people which are called, you, the purpose of it is, is the call to understand that you are people that are called by his name, but you don't disconnect there. If my people which are called by my name, the called by his name, right? Have to humble themselves. They have to pray. They have to seek the witness. They have to turn from their sin. They have to turn from their sin through faith in the witness of Yahushua Hamashiach. They have to allow Yahuwah to give them a new heart. They have to allow Yahuwah to give them a new sruah. They have to allow Yahuwah to put in them the Ruach HaKodesh, right? This disconnect in this knowledge pursuit is causing the number of Yashara and Yahuda, the numbers, to be so consumed by the idea of being a people. Rich in heritage. But listen, if your heritage is rich and you're still wicked and diabolical, you still ain't in his kingdom. You still ain't going into his kingdom. Hell, you ain't going to even see the kingdom. You ain't going to even see the kingdom. You have to understand this witness. You got to be booted and suited. Got to be booted and suited. There's no amount of studying of Torah apart from turning through faith in Hamashiach and Yahuwah, through Amunah and Yahushua Mashiach, that's going to prepare you to be booted and suited. There is no amount of cumulative feast days that you attend. There's no amount of shirts with fringes, heads with wraps, um, 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 Hebrew, uh, outward garb. There is none of it that's going to prepare you to be booted and suited if you don't come by way of the witness. See, because Yohukanan says, but ye shall receive power after that the Ruach HaKodesh is come upon you, right? And ye shall be witnesses. Wow. 
See, because in order to be booted and suited, you have to receive power in order to be witnesses. See, everything we do here is for that purpose. Everything that we do is for this purpose, and this purpose is the kingdom. Everything we do, this preaching, this teaching, on our jobs, wherever we go, everything we do is for the purpose of the witness. So that the people of Yahuwah that are called by his name would not just remain there. They would not just remain E1B1A. They would not just remain Hebrews. They, they will not just remain a people that understand their migration. They, 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 they are not just the people that are from the seed, the royal house of, 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 of Dawid. Listen, listen, listen. The royal house of Dawid that was taken captive, they were taken captive because they were diabolical. They weren't taken captive because they was righteous. They were taken captive because they were diabolical. They were sick of their places because they were diabolical. You remained in captivity because you didn't turn. We were expelled from Spain and Portugal. Our kids were taken from us. They were sent to the coast, the west coast, and on the Isles of San Tome. Right? Beautiful research. Beautiful research. Right? Our children were taken. Our children were put on ships and sold to the Grecians. Yehuda, Yahuda was sold to the Grecians. And those that are of Greek descent, they populated the United Snakes. They populated Germany and Australia. Oh, listen. We were in captivity. Don't allow yourself to stray from the understanding that we were diabolical. Yeah, we understand that we are people that were called. Yaakov was his firstborn. But listen, you still got to turn. You still got to you still got to uh, come by the way of the witness. You still have to be born again of the water of Ruach HaKodesh. You still got to be immersed. You know, too, you know, you know, you know, I don't understand how, 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 you know, Hebrews, you know, you know, they are excited. They get, they get excited about being the people. Yeah, we the people now. You know, we the people. We the people. But if you've been born again of the water of Ruach HaKodesh, right? Because he said, but ye shall receive power. Don't go nowhere. Don't get booted. Don't get suited. Don't go singing. Don't go rapping. Don't go test the lion. Don't go doing none of that until you receive power. And then you need some time to be trained. Some of y'all just get born again and you go to running. The disciples were with Yahushua for three years and they still fell miserable. Yahushua got taken. They went to running and hiding. Peter went to denying. They was with him for three years. And they did signs. They had, they had, they had an idea of what it would look like. 
Belush that was in the arrest and by the power in him demonstrated it. You know, you, you know, you, y'all just, y'all just think that y'all the people and then you go forth and all you do is cause shipwreck. All you do is merchandise the people. You understand how 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 this could be a side hustle. Uh, a side hustle. You got your cash apps. You got your Patreons. You know, I truly believe that. I don't have a problem with 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 gaining gaining increase off of truth, right? Even though the Torah is truth, right? And that if you're giving Torah, the Torah was never made to be paid for, right? But the sacrifices that men and women do to bring that information to you cost money. So, it stands a reason for the righteous. I ain't talking about these, these charlatans. I ain't talking about these cash app Negroes, these, these cash app Hebrews. I ain't talking about these people that's just trying to get you to give in to whatever it is they trying to push. Yeah. I'm sorry. No, I ain't adding you. I don't care about your legal team. Because no man's going to buy us. We're not going to receive justice as a people in the lands of our captivity. Fighting for justice in the lands of our captivity because we Hebrews do not make sense to me. Because the scripture says that no man shall buy you. Which means that nobody's going to redeem you. Nobody's going to give you anything. Nobody's going to do anything for you. It's going to be me. Hence the reason why I have a problem with certain things. But it's okay though. You know, you can go ahead and give to it. And you could do whatever you want to it. You know what I'm saying? But you know, you know, I got a problem with that. You know. I got a problem with your Patreon. I got a problem with your Cash App. Right? And you ain't preaching the witness. You ain't teaching people the witness. Right? I got a problem with that. You, you ain't bringing people under the, under the, under the, the, uh, uh, the umbrella of Yahushua Hamashiach and the kingdom. I got a problem with that. All right? So I, I don't see why I should pay you anything. I don't see why I should cash up you anything. See, because, but ye shall receive power. I am going to boot you and suit you. Right? After the Ruach HaKodesh has come upon you. And ye shall be witnesses unto me both in Jerusalem and in Judea, in Samaria, and the uttermost parts of the world. And that's the last thing he said. He says, and when he had spoken these things, while they beheld him, while they beheld, he was taken up. And the clouds received him out of their sights. They still standing around. Malachi has said, listen, man, why y'all standing around looking? You she's coming back. She need to go and do what he told you to do. So they went to pray and they fasted and they waited. They made moves. They replaced Judas. But they were focused on the service and the purpose and the work of you. And in obedience, they were waiting for the promise because they knew they couldn't go. They knew they couldn't be booted and suited. They knew they couldn't go because they weren't completely booted and suited. You can't rule out the necessity of the power. 
all your research, all your documentaries, without the Ruach HaKodesh and pointing people to the witness of Yahushua HaMashiach, it is all vanity. Yahushua will use your little documentaries to wake up people and then he's going to use soldiers that are booted and suited that's going to deliver a word in the Ruach HaKodesh of Yahuwah that's not going to cause anyone to stumble anyone to be turned out of the way it's going to cause men and women who hear this word to understand that it's not enough being Hebrew it's not enough being of the royal house of David. Yeah, the royal house of David. Spain and Portugal. But you know, I'm going to tell you how, how diabolical these people are, right? You know, they started catching wind that, you know, we were, we were making the connections. So now they just completely removed us out of there. <laughs> oh, your DNA ain't there no more. It was... But it ain't no more. It was, but it ain't no more. It was, but it ain't no more. Because why? This established system is diabolical. Understand. Man of Yah, woman of Yah, understand. You must be booted and suited. You must understand what that means. Now, there is no way you can effectively engage in battle without having received the Ruach HaKodesh. Real quick, Ephesians. Ephesians 6 and 10. Finally, brethren, finally, my brethren, be strong in Adonai Yahushua in the power of his might. So you're talking about the Ruach HaKodesh. Finally. Be strong in Amunah. Be strong in Yahuwah. And the power of his might. The Ruach HaKodesh. And ye shall receive power. After that the Ruach HaKodesh come upon you to be witnesses. Yahushua said, tarry and wait for the promise of the Father. Right? But you receive the truth. The Besora of your Yeshua in which he believed. And you were sealed with the Ruach, Ruach HaKodesh of promise. You must be booted and suited. First and foremost, you got to be born again of the water of the Ruach HaKodesh. You got to receive power. I mean, how can you, how can you skip over what Yahushua Hamashiach has demonstrated that is recorded in the in 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 the Basaurus? Listen, listen, listen. I don't care about any of that Constantine rhetoric. I don't care about none of that. I don't care about none of that. It's rhetoric, right? Don't care about that. Oh, you know, the Gospels aren't true. They were forged by Constantine. Well, like, okay. Why, wh why do Christians believe it then? Why do Catholics believe it? If it's all just a fake farce, then why does everybody grab hold of it and, and, and speak of it? It's not fake. It's an account of a Hamashiach Yahusha, a son of the living Yahuwah, and those that make up the Yahudim, those who walked and talked with him, those who had signs following them when he was on the Aretz. They went through a spiritual boot camp. Right, they went through a spiritual boot camp. They were tested and tried. Man of Yah, woman of Yah, listen. Put on the whole armor of Yahuwah, that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. Only those that are booted and suited have everything they need 
to win the war, to win the fight, to endure in this battle to the end, to overcome. You who have received power after the Ruach HaKodesh has come upon you. You who Yahuwah says in these signs shall follow them to believe in my name. They shall cast out devils in my name. They will speak with new tongues. If they take up any deadly thing, it shall not hurt them. They shall lay hands on the sick and they shall recover. If they eat any deadly thing, it shall not hurt them. They shall take up serpents. Hear the word of Yahuwah. Must be booted and suited. Hear the word of Yahuwah, man of Yah, woman of Yah. You must be booted and suited before you can proceed into this witness, this engaged warfare, this wicked fight, this battle. And I ain't talking about. I ain't talking about going forward and 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 guns and bullets. I'm talking about being suited for warfare. Being suited and booted for warfare. You'll put on the whole armor of Alua that you may be able to, to stand against the warfare of the devil. For we are in battle. We war not against the flesh. Not against the blood, but against principalities, against powers, against rulers of darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness is in high places, right? Wherefore, take unto you the booted and suited armor. You have the Ruach HaKodesh because he says, be strong in the Ruach HaKodesh, right? Take unto you the whole armor arsenal suited and booted that you may be able to withstand in battle in the warfare for we wrestle not against flesh and blood we wrestle not against flesh and blood that you may be able to withstand in the evil days. Cause 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 Hasitan is stepping his game up against us. Who have who have been identified by the Ruach HaKodesh in us, who is on, who is a direct threat to the kingdom of of, of the dominion of Hasitan. He is he is amped up his game against the children. He's sowing seeds of discord. He's sowing seeds of of, of separation. He's 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 causing a, a rifts, separations. Everything he does is in opposition to the love of Hamashiach Yahusha that is set abroad in our hearts. And it's a warfare. You got to be booted and suited. And in order to begin, you have to be born again of the water and the Ruach HaKodesh. You have to have received the promise. You have to have been sealed. You you were you sealed. Listen, after we after we after we finished basic training in the military, we were now. We were now identified as soldiers in the army of the United Snakes of America who do all kinds of covert, uh, 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 treasonous, uh, uh, um, diabolical uh, stuff to other nations. You know, and we were following orders. We followed. Uh, but when we serve Yahuwah Lua, we have a call to follow his orders. We have to follow his commands. 
We have to do it like he said, do it. The purpose has to be his purpose. He got to do it the way he says to do it. Man of y'all, woman of y'all, that's it. We're going to stop there. Booted and suited, prepared for war. Before you even go out to battle, before you even deploy, you better have you who is Ruach Akodesh. You better be in this witness. You better be born again. You better be identified as his. Because at the end of the day, if you're not, you're none of his. And if you're none of his, you are of no use to him. Abba Yahuwah, I thank you right now in the name of Yahushua for the words that you have given me. I've given them and I pray that in Amunah they will receive this witness. That this word, this Torah, this Besor of truth would bring life and peace and quicken them. Abba Yahuwah, that it would be medicine to their flesh. Abba Yahuwah, I pray that it would give light unto them. Abba Yahuwah, I pray that those that you have chosen would receive your word with gladness. I pray that those who receive your word of with gladness would share your word. Share this word. This Torah Basur to someone that you know needs it. Abba Yahuwah, I pray that you would quicken their hearts to do this. Abba Yahuwah, I pray that the words of my mouth, the meditation of my heart would be acceptable in thy sight, Yahuwah, my strength and my redeemer. Hallelujah. Man of Yah, woman of Yah, called the greatness. Woman of Yahuwah, beautifully and wonderfully made, the Yahuwah's favorite you. Suited and booted. Prepare for warfare. Because you know, Hasatan is at war with you. He's got wiles. He's got trickery. He's he's engaged in warfare. And he's he's relentless. He he, he does not believe in ceasefires. He does not believe in giving you an opportunity to regroup. You have to do that. With that, I say, listen, the Shabbat, pre-Shabbat, Shabbat coming up here on tomorrow, and I praise you for the Shabbat. I praise you for the word that he's going to deliver on Shabbat. I praise you because you was worthy to be praised. So with that, I say, man of y'all, woman of y'all, call the greatness, woman of you, beautifully wonderful, mate. Today, today, you will favor you. You will blessings. May you will baruch you. <laughs> In the name of you, Shabbat Hallelujah. The Torah Garden, speaking the absolute truth. Torah Nation.